so we can edit something here we can do some git design let's try something and see if we can come up with something there are no specific rule I'm just trying something remember I'm on multiple that's why I'm putting it in multiple places okay I just finished that oh, the color I changed the color I changed didn't show I can go back duplicate let me see I think I didn't use I didn't click on it okay use render appearance I click on it but what, what, what I'll do is let me use paint do the same duplication good as well I have have that as my kit I like let, let, let me see edit it and show you something you can model all these things in any way you want you can pick something like this something doubled here that's why it's giving me that Try to undo it. It's not really necessary, but I also teach you on how to. I also give you gates. You can also download gates and insert from from Revit website. You just insert them like doors, and then you insert on your wall. Go so through the course. You can also send gates for you. Try and see. So from here. You can also create root. So how you can, how do you how will you do that? Come to your ground level. See all these stops here. Yeah. All these stops here. Yeah. Maybe this there. Then under architecture component extrusion shouldn't be that close to the fan yeah let's say something like this will work finish let's give this like 10 mm let's put it in 3d and see okay all right we're gonna left click here come here duplicate this you can see road you can just choose something darker that can go there so now you have a few of that road so let's go back to this level we we'll finish that then now we shouldn't have really finished but say okay we we'll come to extrusion and then we we'll get some road sign this sign that divides the road something like that finish let's give that one like 15 and you can change the color to white okay so let's learn how to use array we now pick array 
give it the first distance and then put the numbers let's say 40 okay it's not enough for us well, we can click on it and write 50 I think this is okay, we can just finish it. Good, we we'll have something like that on our road. On our road there. Yeah. We are almost getting done with our modeling of the house. So, above this. So about putting things like trees in Revit, you no, know, Revit don't really have much materials, but when you go to the online, you can get more materials, well, about which I'll be teaching you other rendering softwares as we proceed. But here, to get things like trees, most of the time you can come to massing and site, then you see component already having trees yeah let's say you place a tree here come here you can change the height and things like that every the tree there and see and then you connect to add vision okay it makes the system very heavy Properties come back to properties you can get more trees from there. That's one way to get trees. Another way you can also load family. When you go to family, you can come to sites. Let's see. No, there is no trees. But some some of well well this well this version don't really have trees here. So most of the places that you can have the trees is where I show you. Or when you download, you can also import inside. So let's say well let's say maybe like car you can come to components. You just click good. This time when you open here, you say place component. Then you can load it inside. So good. Uh, for the trees, I think when, when, when you come to components, place components, load. Let's check something. Let's come to. I think planting. Good. Under planting here, we have some trees that we can also make use of. Oh, no. Let's place something there. We can select this one. Let's see if we can change the size.
trees are not really beautiful, so I don't really go with it. It's already dragging my my system. So let's try to 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 now go for a break. So in our next lecture, now we can try to render a view and see what we come out of it. Thank you for watching. So guys, if you need in-depth training on any of these softwares, you can contact me. This is my WhatsApp number. Uh, and below the description, there's a link to our WhatsApp group and link to our website. This, like these are our website where, where you can get services of architecture, structural engineering, MIE services, and you can download softwares. You can download softwares on our website too. All of these softwares, you can get them on our website to download. Thank you. And remember to subscribe to my channel.